welcome to my channel and path oasis for today's video we're going to be doing it on the topic of what is their karma for playing mind games with you so i have three options here for you guys i wanted to do this poo card with pens today colorful pens i don't know why but we're gonna go with it so group one is going to be the red pen group two will be the lavender and group three will be the burgundy so think of your person that's been playing mind games with you or who has played mind games with you and then pick whichever pile and pen you feel most drawn to if you need more time, you can pause the video. Timestamps will be available in the caption. Hey, group one, if you chose a red pen, this is your reading for what is their karma for playing mind games with you? So let's see what was going on in this situation uh, to make sure you guys, <clears throat> to see if you guys picked an accurate pile. If this doesn't sound like your uh, experience, then feel free to return back to the selection portion of this video and try again. But for this group, I pulled Justice Reverse, Two of Cups Reverse, and Two of Swords Reverse. Okay, so for this group, this person that was playing mind games with you guys, I feel like this was around them lying or acting like they didn't know somebody that they actually did know. Uh, I feel like you guys may have uh, confronted them about this person. Maybe something you had seen, uh, an exchange happened between the two of them that kind of made you uncomfortable or it made you very curious like what the dynamic is between the two of them. And I feel like when you brought this up, uh, they acted like they didn't know you were talking about. I feel like you guys are definitely suspicious of this person and their relationship with this other person. Some of you may have actually seen inappropriate exchanges between the two of them. And this person just denies everything or they downplay it or they downplay this person's involvement in their life. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel like for this situation, this looks like a third party situation, but this is not necessarily specific to a uh, romantic connection. Like this can be a platonic connection as well. Like this could be someone that you caught them, you know, engaging with, and this was like an enemy of yours and you were kind of caught off guard. You didn't understand why, you know, this person is acting cool with this person. Uh, you could have confronted them because they know, you know, how things are between you and them. You didn't understand why they were even dealing with this individual at all, you know, and they could have just, you know, denied being cool with them. They could have just chopped it up as you misreading what you saw, but they actually did have some form of relationship or connection behind your back. This could even be in regards to like business, like a business partnership, um, a transaction taking place behind your back. Uh, it could, it, it could even involve something legal. Okay. So just take it how it resonates, but I am seeing, you know, this can be, um, a third party uh, romantic situation too, where, you know, they were denying knowing this person uh, on the level that you had a suspicion about and um, they played mind games with you about it. They try to act like, you know, you were making things up. Um, but let's see what the karma is for this group for doing this. I pulled the high priestess ace of swords reversed king of pentacles and three of wands clarified by protection adventures reversed and wisdom reversed so, you know, pretty much everything done in the dark is going to be coming to the light with this group. You know, I'm seeing that with this karma, 
that this person's lies are going to get exposed eventually. They may be slowing down the truth from coming out, but it's going to come out like regardless of what they try to do uh, to advert attention away from this connection. Uh, I feel like a part of their karma, though, for doing this, for playing these mind games, is the amount of stress and anxiety that they've created for themselves for even lying in the first place. I feel like these people are constantly going to be, you know, freaking out or looking over their shoulder or overanalyzing things or overthinking things because they're afraid to get exposed of, you know, with their lies. Um, I feel like this person's existence, you know, after they do these games, play these mind games with you, their existence is going to be very stressful uh, because they chose to be dishonest, because they chose to try and take advantage of, you know, you guys and the situation. With these cards, I feel like, you know, we're getting this message that you guys are definitely being protected from this connection, from this person, from their manipulation. Um, any harm that this person may cause you uh, or any pain they may cause you to feel uh, in the grand scheme of things and the bigger picture, you know, it's actually uh, not going to be of any real significance to you down the road. You're being protected from them doing anything worse to you by, you know, their lies getting exposed by these manipulation tactics of theirs being exposed when the truth comes out i feel like yes it will be painful for some of you uh, but you know try to remember that this is divine intervention um and this is also the universe letting you know that you can trust your intuition because i feel like a lot of you you know you knew that this person was not being honest you knew that they were uh kind of beating beating around the bush or not being truthful they're playing mind games with you your intuition definitely was letting you know something was not right okay so this whole experience i feel like is also confirmation for a lot of you that you can trust your intuition yeah so that's all i am seeing for you guys let me know if this reading resonates with you if it was helpful if it was please make sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when more videos will be uploaded. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group two. Hey, group two, if you chose this lavender pen, this is your reading for what is their karma for playing mind games with you. So let's first take a look at what these people did, the situation. This is where you will be able to tell whether or not you picked an accurate reading. If this does not sound like your experience, feel free to go back to the selection portion of this video and try again. But for this group, I pulled King of Swords, the Hanged Man, Queen of Wands, and the Chariot reversed. So for this group, group two, I feel like the mind games that this person was playing with you guys. It was around their intentions or motivations with certain actions or choices that they made. I feel like a lot of these people, they may have tried to paint this image of them doing something uh, that they were trying to justify or they were trying to make you guys believe that it was in the best interest of everyone else. But the true motivation behind uh, this action or this choice of theirs was actually to block your success or to block your advancement or it was to block attention from being on you. Like these guys, I feel like you're dealing with some competitive or just narcissistic energy here. Um, I feel like though, if this energy was narcissistic and even competitive like for the majority of you i feel like it was more covert and what i mean by that is that it was like more hidden like i feel like this person was kind of subtle with their sabotage um Some of these people were not very subtle, okay? Because with this queen of wands, this person is very loud. Um, this person, you know, they are very attention hungry. So just take it how it resonates. Um, 
But I feel like, you know, whether or not this person was loud or not, I feel like they were kind of able to, for a time being, be successful with their mind games or their manipulation because they were able to kind of make themselves look like they were being selfless. I feel like these people drew a lot of attention to how much they may have sacrificed or how much uh, they may have done for others. But I feel like, you know, the reasons why they did this was really just to either dominate or control uh, those that they had a connection to. So let's look now at the karma that these people will be facing for, you know, doing these mind games with you guys. I pulled the world reversed. Page of swords reversed. Five of swords, judgment. Clarified by action reversed, gateway reversed, and purification reversed. So the karma I'm seeing here for these people is, you know, because they tried to block your success and block your blessings, they ended up blocking their own. I feel like... Um, also these people they became like a magnet like they ended up attracting a lot of this energy that they are putting out so with them being competitive with them being deceitful with them being dishonest underhanding and calculating you know they're attracting that and their newer connections that are coming towards them so they're going to end up, you know, connecting with people who do the same, you know, underhanded conniving uh, type of behavior that they did to you. They'll be doing that right back to them. They won't even be able to identify these people because being in this low vibrational energy is like, you know, blocking their third eye from seeing people who are deceitful because they're deceitful and you know even if they don't have any uh new connections coming in that are like that i feel like the people they surround themselves with are a reflection of that so i feel like people within their own circle they're going to be doing they're going to be turning against them or manipulating them or trying to sabotage them they're going to be surrounded by people that they're calling their friends but they're really not their friends they're just people who are only concerned with themselves just like they're only concerned with themselves because of this person's actions they blocked their own success they blocked their own recognition they blocked attention or the potential they could have had on them you know if they already have like a lot of attention on themselves it's like they block themselves from going any higher than the level they're actually on because of this uh, deceitful energy that they are embodying for some of you how these people you know specifically how they try to block you was they tried to create insecurities in you guys so that you would not have the confidence to pursue the things that you felt called to pursue I feel like you know that level of maliciousness is going to be circling right back to them there's going to be people in their lives that are uh, trying to crush their confidence you know that are negatively impacting their self-esteem um that are just as critical if not worse to them as they were to you i really feel like i'm seeing with this group these people really connecting with a lot of toxic connections that end up really sabotaging this person's growth and expansion the way they try to do to you guys all right group two i hope that this reading resonates with you and it was accurate if it was please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this in the near future thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel i'm now going to move on to group three hey group three if you chose this burgundy pen this is your reading for what is their karma for playing mind games with you guys so let's take a look at the energy with this group between you and this person during this portion of the reading, this is when you will be able to tell whether or not you picked an accurate pile. So if this does not sound like your situation or your experience, feel free to go back to the selection portion of this video and try again, okay? So for this group, I pulled six of swords, five of cups reversed, and two of wands reversed. 
I'm getting more scenarios with this group than I did with the first two piles. So bear with me as I go through them. Only take what resonates. So I'm seeing one scenario here where this person is playing mind games with you guys um, over something that happened between the two of you. Like you could have had a disagreement or a past falling out. And I feel like this person... is maybe acting like they've healed from this, they're cool with you, just so that they can come back around and like get revenge on you or to take their anger out on you. Um, these people, I feel like they're playing mind games with you guys and they're not being completely honest with, you know, their healing. Um, they're not being honest with the motivation behind their actions and their choices. There are a few people here that I feel like this is like a denial, but the majority of you guys here, this is just a lack of wanting to be accountable. I am also seeing another scenario here where this person could have promised to do some form of healing. Like they could have been promising to do like a 12 step program or even like individual counseling. Um, for something that they are struggling with because it was causing too much of an imbalance in this connection that you had with them. Um, I feel like these people, they were saying or acting like they were getting this help and they were doing the work and they actually were not. For some of you, these people may have been playing mind games or acting like they were going out looking for employment or trying to get a job or they were trying to contribute or help you out, take some of the burdens off of your shoulders uh you guys could have been taking on uh, a significant amount of the financial burdens in this connection uh, and they were acting like or playing games acting like they were trying to do as much as they could to contribute to this connection when they actually were not like they could have been acting like oh they were out all day looking for a job or doing things but they were really you know wasting time some of these people i feel like they were playing mind games with some of you by not being honest and direct with the reason why they left this connection or created space in this connection some of you i feel like these people were playing mind games were playing mind games around their intentions or their plans with this connection um, specifically specifically if you were in a romantic situation this person could have been acting like they were looking for something long term but they really were just saying that to manipulate you and to get from you what they wanted and then they had every intention on kind of ghosting or bouncing so only take what resonates guys i know i said a lot of scenarios there but um let's now take a look at the karma that will be coming in for these people for playing these mind games with you i pulled seven of cups reverse nine of pentacles reverse and five of wands reverse clarified by openness purification reverse and flow reversed so because there were a lot of scenarios here i'm seeing a lot of different forms of karma coming through so you're going to need to use your discernment don't force stuff to fit your situation if that does not sound like it would be you know your situation's karma only take what resonates like i keep saying um for those people that are playing these mind games where they were just coming back around to hurt you you know they had bad intentions i feel like a lot of you are going to kind of you know recognize what's happening and you know you're not going to engage and even if you don't recognize what's happening and they are able to kind of do something to you know mess with you i feel like when you see the bigger picture of everything you're going to be like that shit is pretty pathetic and you're just going to stop engaging with them you know you're not going to see the point in wasting any more of your energy or time on someone that's so beneath you to even come back around and do something that you know like i said pathetic um and i feel like when you guys do not engage in their efforts to try and hurt you and trigger you this is going to really impact their ego it's going to impact their self-esteem that they weren't able to get the reaction from you that they wanted 
um i feel like these people may have like an inflated sense of self and you know when you guys don't react to their bullshit, it's going to really hurt their self-esteem if this person has been playing mind games um about you know their healing um if they have been you know kind of not being honest about how this is impacting the way they are treating you and their relationship with you and their connection with you uh with how they are showing up to life you know this situation i feel like this is kind of um this isn't going to apply to a lot of people i actually feel like this is a little bit of a warning for some of you that this person is actually struggling with like depression um and i feel like you know there's going to be a period where they just kind of feel like giving up so i feel like you know you're being asked to kind of just keep an eye on them check in with them let them know they're not alone let them know that they are supported if this is someone that you do care about um if this is someone that you do know often struggles with depression just keep an eye out on them you know uh try not to take their behavior personal i know that you know it can be frustrating dealing with someone that has uh, maybe extreme highs or lows and sometimes you're not even aware that this is what's happening that it's not about you they're not trying to play mind games with you they're not trying to hurt your feelings it's not personal okay this is not going to apply to a lot of people i feel like uh there are a few of you here that may have needed to be reminded of this person's struggle with depression and uh remind you that their behavior their mind games that they're playing uh it wasn't meant to hurt you i feel like it's more as a way to shield you from their current reality that they're struggling with okay if this person has been deceiving you guys about their intentions and why they are in your life what i'm seeing as their karma is that they're going to be attracting a lot of chaos and a lot of drama you know because of this energy that they are you know embodying you know being deceitful being selfish being self-absorbed this type of behavior attracts a very chaotic and dramatic and draining lifestyle okay and i feel like that's what this person's life is going to look like how what it's going to reflect you know being surrounded by a lot of chaotic dishonest manipulative uh deceitful people um i feel like because this person uh does not want to take accountability for this energy that they are embodying i feel like they're essentially draining their precious time and their precious energy on nonsense and they're not going to be able to really achieve or reach their highest potential because of that uh, I feel like they're just going to be draining themselves with drama and bullshit. They're not going to be able to accomplish very much in life. They're going to be very stagnant. Um, some of you, the karma is simply going to be that they, you know, lose you. You guys are going to see through this shit. They're, you're you're going to see through their lies. And you're not going to want to have anything to do with this, this type of energy, this type of person. And I feel like this loss of you is actually going to hit them pretty hard because I feel like you guys are probably the only source of light in their life. Like based on these cards, I feel like these people have pretty toxic and stressful energy. And, you know, without your light around, without your energy around, their life just looks very like lackluster. Um because of this person's you know issues that they have overall i feel like they're just blocking the natural flow of life they're blocking opportunities they're leaving themselves open to very toxic energy uh, they're leaving themselves open to very restricted life experiences because they're not being mindful of how you know lack of accountability is impacting their life experience i just feel like you know a huge part of this person's karma for this group is they just are going to be having a very unpleasant existence until they are willing to 
do this shadow work to address why they feel the need to uh, avoid their healing to the extent that they have been. Okay guys, and group three, I hope that this reading resonates with you guys and it was helpful. Let me know, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video, okay? Bye!